What actually is zone two? I just talked about this on the podcast. I thought this would be great to do a quick overview here for you guys. And what actually is zone two and physiologically when we're talking about this and why do we care? So we think about zones, we have a five zone model system or three zone system. Typically when we're talking about zone two, we're talking about the five zone system where your zone two is roughly 60 to 70% of your heart rate max. Of course, this can vary by someone's fitness status and level and or training experience, but roughly that if we're thinking about our lay person. What zone two is denoted by is this point called our lactate threshold Threshold one or our first ventilatory threshold. So when you're thinking about the five zone model, the crossover point from zone two to zone three is this point when our respiration starts to gradually increase during exercise because we're releasing more CO2 or we're producing more lactate and or it's about roughly two millimoles per liter we're trying to stay below. When you're in zone two, you're able to oxidize a lot of fat and or develop the mitochondrial or capillary systems or physiological adaptations to improve our body's ability to both use fat for fuel, but use uptake in actually turn the oxygen that's been delivered to the muscle cell and tissue into energy for exercise and activity. People who have a higher fitness status, this zone two point will shift forward to higher percentages of their VO2 max and or their max heart rate. So you will have a wider zone two or a higher range to exercise and train at and still be within this physiological parameter. This is why your zones will vary person to person. And if you want to learn more about zones, let me know below. I might have a fun freebie for you.